We're going to keep this going. Welcome our next comedian on the stage, a very funny guy, Mr. Isa O'Neill. I think I deserve a bit more applause. <laughs> I go to a high school, Stuyvesant High School. It's the best high school in the state. It does have the highest suicide rate in the state, which is good. I like a challenge. <laughs> there, there's another high school which is almost as good as Stuyvesant High School. It's Staten Island Technical High School. It's like Stuyvesant, but you have to go to Staten Island. <laughs> In Stuyvesant, I, I see kids smoking pot. Uh, I don't smoke the reefers, personally, because you know those potheads, they don't share. <laughs> Probably because I act very antisocial. You need to act more cool and casual to get all potted up on dope. <laughs> <laughs> Awkwardness is also probably why I fail with girls my age. I'm presently unable to woo a female. <laughs> A lot of people tell me that high school is the age where girls get very interested in boys. Now, if that were true, I'd be one of the last boys in the city to know about it. <laughs> There's a college called Fa uh, the Fashion Institute of Technology. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I was under the impression that fashion was not the field of scientific study. <laughs> I wonder if they write out stoichiometric equations. If you have 10 grams of depression and 13 grams of anorexia, which is a limiting reactant in the synthesis of pizzazz? <laughs> Speaking of fashion, immigration is a big issue. You see, Mexicans are coming here from Honduras and Puerto Rico. I know, Puerto Ricans in America, madness. See, a thing a lot of politicians don't seem to understand is that if we just let all the immigrants in, the next thing you know, America will become a nation of immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> My father did not come here all the way from Europe for this nation to be overrun by immigrants. <laughs> No, I was sort of interested to see if Jeb Bush won the presidency, because I wanted to find out what country he'd invade. <laughs> Jeb Bush, by the way, is the smart Bush. <laughs> which admittedly is a relative term. You know, I, I, at the end of the day, I was against electing Jeb Bush president because that would be just a clear endorsement of political dynasties here in the U.S. And I'm against that sort of thing, which is why I'm a Hillary supporter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she'll foster a bipartisanship. Republicans will like her because she acts moderate. They will still have some misgivings because she is still technically female. <laughs> But she and Republicans do agree on some key issues. They're both not big fans of Bill Clinton. <laughs> uh, you know, speaking of this, uh, a while ago, Barbara Walters was trying to get Monica Lewinsky to be a permanent panelist on The View to appeal to young people. Because as we all know, there's nothing that uh, young TV viewers find more interesting than the Bill Clinton sex scandal. <laughs> 
except for maybe uh, the Lindbergh baby. <laughs> So, awesome and awful are odd words, because they both describe varying degrees of awe. <laughs> and from what I can tell, awe is good if there's some of it, but if something is full of awe... <laughs> Sorry, I'm not allowed to laugh. Uh, <laughs> if something is full of is full of awe, then hold back. That is way too much awe. <laughs> so, thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. Just to remind you, I was in high school. Let him hear it, folks. Let him hear it. Thank <laughs> you.